What up to my peoples and welcome to Retro Crunch. So there was a ton of retro pop culture news that happened this week and we've got a lot to get to. And first off, retro fans, a online co-op virtual reality Ghostbusters game is coming out. Just from the first looks of this game, I really am excited for this and I wanna see more on what it's gonna look like. I don't own a VR headset, well, because I'm kinda of old school, but if they're gonna start putting out games like this in VR, I might just have to go out and pick up this game and maybe like an Oculus headset to go with it. By the way, since we're on the subject, if you know some other retro uh, type games that you can play in virtual reality, go ahead and post them down below. I have a lot of retro fans that watch this and they might wanna know some of the other games that they could pick up. Then next up, I want to real quick give a shout out to my Retro Days buddy, Tony Great. He has a new book that's titled Tommy and the Order of Cosmic Champions that's going to be coming out in bookstores in October. If you're into 80s sci-fi and fantasy nostalgia or love like He-Man and Conan the Barbarian, um, this book is something that I think you'll really love. It's up for pre-order right now and I'll link to where you can buy it in the description. Then for those that like Garbage Pail Kids or that might like or hate Madballs, so these two iconic 80s properties are headed to war in a new crossover comic book series. The title of the comic book is going to be called Madballs vs. Garbage Pail Kids and issue number one is going to be coming out in July. And in some gaming news, according to a German Lego fan site promo brand, Lego's making a Atari VCS Lego set that's going to celebrate the 40th and 45th anniversary of one of the greatest gaming consoles ever made. Come on. Atari VCS 2600. The site says that the price is going to be about 199 US dollars, but if you want to learn more on when it might possibly be releasing, um, I'll link down below to the article so you can find out more. All right, now let's move on to our retro movie and TV news that we have for this week. First up, just a quick update. According to Deadline.com, Amazon is actually leading the bidding war to acquire the rights to make a Voltron movie. There are a few companies that are trying to win the rights, but Amazon, they they have really deep pockets, so they could definitely end up winning the rights to this movie. But if I hear any more about it, I'll let y'all know. The next, some of y'all might remember the popular book, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. So this was a book that was written by Judy Bloom, and it was really popular in the 70s and 80s. So the movie that's based on the book, it's actually finishing production, and it's going to star Rachel McAdams and also a young actress, uh, Ryder Fortson, who's going to be playing Margaret. Now, uh, it's been announced that the movie's going to be hitting theaters in September of 2022. So if you're interested in the book, you might be interested in the movie. There was a 1986 Super Mario Brothers animated movie that was made a while back and you might be happy to know that it's been fully restored and in 4K. Now this whole one hour animated feature is going to be available to watch on archive.org or it's actually available now. I'll link to that down below and the fan made group that, uh, that restored this, they did a phenomenal job. Also, another game that y'all might remember, Streets of Rage. It was announced that they're getting a movie. They're making a movie of this. Now, this game came out in 1991 on Sega Genesis, if you can remember. I can vaguely remember playing this game growing up. Um, I think they're on Streets of Rage 4 now. Um, that last one, I think, came out in 2020. But if you're a fan of the game, you'll probably enjoy playing the game again and then maybe going and watching the movie. Then Michael Jordan. We all know of the Jordan 1s and that Jumpman emblem that made... Uh, Michael Shoe synonymous with Nike. There's a biopic that's being made about how Nike and Michael Jordan first created the collaboration that really put Nike on the map as the greatest shoe company of the world. It's going to star Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, and for that alone, my curiosity is really, really piqued. Also, I can't wait to see who they're going to have play Michael Jordan. And then I have three more bits of news that I want to go over real quick. The 80s group Menudo is getting a documentary series called Forever Young. Also, it looks like Fez is going to be returning for that 90s show, and there is a... A movie that's being based off of George Orwell's 1945 novella Animal Farm that's going to be coming out. That is a lot of news, but if you made it to the end, be sure to comment on some of the news that we talked about today. Plus, be sure to share this video out with your friends. Finally, if you're into retro news and nostalgia stuff from back in the day, I'll see you in the next video. I'll catch you on the flip side, and remember, if it ain't retro, it ain't worth watching.